Praise God. Palakpakan natin muli ang Panginoon. Tunay na napakabuti ang ating buhay, banal, at makapangyarihang Diyos. Amen? And we want more of you, Lord. Pwede ba natin sabihin, I love you, Father God in heaven. I love you, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I love you, Holy Spirit. Amen? Uh, 2015, pagbabalik na, bago po ang lahat, pangalan ko po si Nanay Eni, ang inyo pong nanay at tatay ng ACCS Sarja. And every time uh, dumarating ka itong pagkakataon, we te- we, thinking in God is not enough, every time maalala namin na there's someone na nagtsaga sa amin, bakit po kami ngayon ay nakapag sa serve sa inyo as our ACCA Sarja family. Praise and thank God po uh, sa buhay ng ating mahal na pastor, Papi Willie Recaprente and Mami Sheila Recaprente. 2015, uh, kami po ay nananalangin sa financial center and God put in our hearts to pray ACCA Sarja. At napakasarap mahalin ang bunga ng pananalangin sa matyagang pananalangin 2016 nagkaroon po tayo ng first year anniversary ng ACCI Sarja Family at dahil po ito sa pagmamahal at pananalangin ng bawat isa together with the pastor in Abu Dhabi together with the brethren in uh, Dubai at kasama po nito narito ngayon tayo as one family celebrating the eight years of faithfulness and goodness of our living, loving, and holy God. So, simple lang po ang aming panalangin na sa bawat pupuntahan namin ay makapagdala kami ng mga anak ng Panginoon na naghahanap ng pagmamahal, humihingi ng kapatawaran, at nagnanay sumunod sa ating buhay banal at makapangyarihang Diyos. Amen? And once again, why we are here, Actually, last uh, two weeks ago, we, we did a uh, soaking and prayer. And we asked all the leaders, what we can give to God this coming eight years anniversary? Kailangan ba namin mag-alam, Marta, to prepare all the food to give to those people who will come? And the Lord speak to us clearly. God said, the best thing, the best part, the best portion that you can offer to God, to me, is your heart. Amen. And God speak to us. I just want to share to you, God speak to us because I believe this is the day that the Lord has made to us, to all of us, so that we encounter once more His presence. Amen. His love. At yung pag-encounter natin dito, dire-direcho. Sabi ng Panginoon, when we ask God, Lord, what we can offer to you? Sabi niya sa Joshua 3:5. First, you have to consecrate yourself. Like lay your lives down before God. Set apart your lives to Him. Completely holy. Holy. Buong puso. For tomorrow, sabi ng Panginoon, for tomorrow, the Lord will do wonders among you. Amen. Praise God. The Lord will do wonders among you. And I thank and praise God for all those years Marami po kaming up and downs na pinagdaanan, but ang Panginoon ay patuloy na pinadadama ang kanyang presensya. Amen? Tunay na napakasarap na sa bawat panahon na lumilipas, the best thing that we can offer to our living, loving, and holy God ay yung puso natin na handang magpabago, handang sumunod. And the rest, will be amazing. Agree ba kayo? Yeah. Amen. Praise God. So, hindi po makakarating kami ng eight years of faithfulness and goodness as ACCI family kung wala ang presensya ng ating buhay banal at makapangyarihan Diyos. Kaya sa oras na ito, anam namin natin ang kanyang presensya within us. Embrace natin ang kanyang presensya and soon, you will be amazed. God will use you to encounter people to, to touch lives. Amen? At makita nila na ang Diyos ay buhay sa ating buhay. Amen? Let us be a living testimony. Buhay na patutuo that we are one sinner but saved by grace. Na nakita sa ating buhay ang pagbabago 
At sa panahong ito, makikita natin. Because we know and we believe, God is coming back. And God want us to unite as one family, reaching out, touching lives. Ang dami pa po na naghahanap ng pagmamahal, naghahanap ng pagbabago. But they don't know what, how to do it. Kayo po ang gagamitin ng Panginoon. Amen? And we uh, at these eight years of faithfulness and goodness of our living, loving, and holy God, part of uh, being nanay of ACCI Sarja, in behalf of uh, ACCI Sarja family, nais nice po namin pasalamatan ang ACCI Abu Dhabi. Can you please stand up, ACCI Abu Dhabi? Salamat po sa inyong presensya na nakasama namin sa ikawalong taon ng kabutihan ng Panginoon. Ganon din po, nais nice din namin pasalamatan ang ACCI Dubai. Praise God! Hallelujah! At nais nice din naman po namin ipakilala sa inyo. Maari ngayon lang tayo nagpangita ng face-to-face. Nami miss po namin kayo. This is the first time that lagi ko po sa... Lord, kailan kaya namin makikita ang aming ACCI Dubai, ACCI Abu Dhabi? But ngayon po nakita namin kayo face-to-face! Praise God! At ngayon naman po, nais nice namin ipakilala sa inyo inyong mga kapatid sa ACCI Sarja Family. Tayo naman kayo mga anak! Tayo ang ACCI Sarja, tayo mga anak! So, hiwa-hiwalay sila dahil gusto nila makapiling kayo dyan sa likod, sa harap, sa gitna. But again, once again, we will do these days because this is the day that He made for us and God wants us to rejoice. God wants us to, to feel His presence. So, give your heart, give your mind, keep relaxed, enjoy singing, Keep on smiling because the Lord is with us. Amen. All glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe you would agree when I say that God has always been faithful to ACCI Sharjah for eight years. Can you shout hallelujah to our living, loving, and holy God? So this afternoon, as we continue to worship God, can we proclaim of His goodness, His faithfulness in our lives? Can we all stand up and praise our living, our loving, and holy God? Can we all stand up? Seated on death throne, mountains bow down, every ocean's roar to the Lord of hosts. Praise Adonai from the rising of the sun to the end of every day. Praise Adonai, all the nations of the earth. And the saints sing praise. Who is like him, the lion and the lamb, seated on the throne? Mountains bow down, every ocean's roar to the Lord of hosts. Praise Adonai from the rising of the sun. Till the end of every day, praise Adonai. All the nations of the earth, all the angels and the saints, sing praise Adonai. From the rising of the sun, till the end of every day, praise Adonai. All the nations of the earth, all the angels and the saints, sing praise Lord God, we praise you for who you are, Lord God. Oh, you deserve the highest glory and honor from your people, Panginoon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Adonai from the rising of the sun to the end of every day. Praise Adonai all the nations of the earth, all the angels 
this afternoon, Lord God, as we celebrate, Lord God, 80 years of your faithfulness, Father God, in this place, Panginoon. Lord, allow every one of us, Father God, to rest in your presence, because in your presence, Lord God, there is peace, Lord God, in your presence, there is joy, Lord God, in your presence, Father God, that's where we can uh, rest, Panginoon. Maraming, maraming salamat po. Oh, hallelujah. You, Lord, in all the earth, much as love and beauty and this world, nothing in this world will satisfy. Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. is heaven to me your presence is heaven to me treasure of my heart and of in my weakness you are merciful Redeemer of my past and present wrongs Holder of my future days to come Your presence is Your presence is heaven to me. Your presence is heaven to me. Heaven 
to me. My days are not, I will away. It's a moment that I see you face to face. In this world will satisfy Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry oh, Your presence is here
the glory Day and night, night and day Let in sins arise Day and night, night and day Let in sins arise Day and night, night and day Let in sins arise Day and night, night and day Let in sins arise Day and night, night and day, let in sins arise. Day and night, night and day, let in sins arise. Day and night, night and day, let in sins arise. Day and night, night and day, let in sins arise. Lord, we 
know that you are listening, Father God. We know, Panginoon, na hindi po maikli ang inyong mga kamay, Father God. Natugunin, Panginoon, ang aming pong mga panalangin, Father God. Lord, I pray and I declare for revival, Father God, in this place, in the name of Jesus, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Maraming, 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 maraming salamat po. To be all the glory, all the honor, and all the highest praise. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I, don't, I don't know if you have experienced this. This could be the first time that you have experienced this. Wag po kayong, ma, wag po kayong magugulat. This is what we feel kapag nananalo si Manny Pacquiao. You know? This is what we feel if our if our favorite basketball players are winning. This is what we feel kapag nagkabali ka na si <laughs> yung napapasigaw kayo. You know, this is, this, is, this is exactly what we want everyone to feel. The presence of God. Every word that we have say, sang here, lahat ng pagpupuri, He deserves all the glory. He deserves all the honor and all the praise. Sabi ko nga, sana palaging ganito. The presence of God is always here. That the presence of God, we will always have the opportunity to sing our love songs to Him. Amen? He is worthy. He is worthy. He is, he is worthy. Let's exalt Him once again. I exalt Thee. I exalt Thee. And I exalt Amazing. Um, I don't know if everyone knows me here because I don't come here very frequently. We have a hi, hi, sis. Praise God indeed. <laughs> really, the presence of God is amazing. Amen. My name is Mami Shi. Anyone can call me Manang. Or you can call me Ate. But I prefer to be called Mami Shi. I am the ex-girlfriend of your, of our senior pastor. They're all looking, staring at me. My name is Mami Shi and Today, I'm really grateful to God for what He has done for this church family for the last eight years. And I am so honored and privileged to be given an opportunity by God to witness how this family started, how it was just a prayer wish, a wish before, when Pastora Helen and Pastora Annie would come to our house in Dubai and they would always 
communicate to me the message, Mommy, she, we really need to have already a church in Sharjah. And I do understand because they have to travel every Sunday evening to Dubai just to attend a church gathering like this. And they go home at 2 o'clock in the morning or 1.30 because they commute. But praise God, here we are. Here we are celebrating eight years of God's goodness and God's faithfulness because God has planted here two faithful women of God. And from the very start, also Pastora Ian was also planted here to help our two ladies, you know, start this ministry here in Sharjah. And this, I believe, is just the beginning. This is just phase one of what God is going to do here in this very place. Amen? Alam nyo po, napaka dakila talaga ng ating Panginoon. God really, really is an incredible father to all of us, especially to me. I am an example of a life that was changed. A character, an attitude that was changed by God. Just a very short testimony. I was born in the province, and just as everybody knows, ang mga probinsyana at hindi mga taga Manila, if you don't come from the capital, you were not raised in the capital, you tend to be shy and always quiet. And I would always, tama? Oh, may sibuano dito. Yeah, I was always, I don't have, every time my mom would brought us to Manila, I would always hide in the room because I don't want to face even my cousins. I'm always very, very shy. I don't have confidence at all. Even my, my teachers and even my, my aunts, my aunties, my uncles, they would always tell my mom, sayang yan. She could have been better if she could speak up. And my teacher would always tell my mom, sayang siya, she doesn't recite. Ako daw, I don't recite. Fast forward, God changed my life. Jesus came to my life when I was in college. And fast forward again, when God brought me to a company that was just a few years after I came out of being, I was already married, to Pastor Willis, kay Papi. Siya po yung senior pastor. Ako po yung ex-girlfriend. O baka yung iba ko ano nang inisip. Yes. So, I was a housewife for years. And I was taking care. We were take God and I. and I, I had a yaya before, but I was personally taking care of our two children. And then, lo and behold, my, my husband got imprisoned. Many people know that. But then again, because God is a calling for him to be a full-time pastor, and so God planted me back to the corporate world. This began my feeling of inadequacy. When I entered the HR department of the company that hired me, remember, I was not really used to being in the corporate world because I was in the house, in the kitchen for quite a while. And then one lady told me, um, hi, where'd you come from? Saan company ka dati? Ah, said, oh, okay. So, um, anong trabaho ng asawa mo? I told her, my husband is a full-time pastor. Buti na lang din niya tinanong, saan nagpapastor? Kasi nahihiya pa ako nun aminin, I cannot admit to anybody that my husband is pastoring inside the national penitentiary. To me, pampabawas ng ganda yun. <laughs> Parang nahihiya talaga ako na aminin. I was so afraid to tell that lady, I hope she will not ask where my husband is pastoring. Then she said, ah, your husband is a pastor. And then, huh? Pastor, asawa mo? Bakit ka nandito? Buti pinayagang kang magtrabaho sa opisina. And that really melted my... Ano man, whatever lit 
little self-confidence I had, that really melted away. That melted away and I said, I am not fit. I am not fit being a wife of some, someone ministering to the prisoners. I cannot be here in this environment. For years, believe me, I was complaining to God. I said, why am I here? I should be in full-time ministry because all of the pastor's wives I met, they are all in the church, praying, supporting their husband, taking care of kids' ministry or whatever ministry is in the church. And I am so busy there in the corporate world. Hindi ko matanggap yung sarili ko. All the more, I had no confidence. And I would always wish no one would ask me where my husband is working because I cannot admit that he is pastoring inside Muntinlupa. Parang hindi ko masabi, ex-con, baka kasi tanongin, why is he doing ministry in Muntinlupa? It's just so strange. Hindi kasi common talaga, bihira. It's rare that someone would go inside prison. Na it's a very risky place. Nakakatakot. It's really rare. So, parang I would always wish sana walang magtanong sa akin kung saan siya, bakit siya nandun. Kasi ang, wala, I cannot lie. And I, what, what I will tell the person is, kasi ex-convict yung husband ko who happened to be changed by God. At sa grasya ng pinang, Panginoon, pinagkatiwalaan ng, pag, ng ministry sa loob ng Montinlupa Prison. And then one day, God, God told me, isn't it that I planted you there in the corporate world? Because you have a mission there. And I was so shocked and I was so rebuked and I cried before God. I really cried. And that helped me really process everything and to accept my calling, which is to be in the marketplace, to be in the corporate world during that time. And I saw so many people pala need God even inside the manager's office. God told me, instead of you complaining, why don't you go around and do a Jericho march and pray over all the swivel chairs and ask God to minister to all the managers there in your company. And one day, we already, God already started a Bible study in our company for 40 minutes. Every Friday lunch break, we would rush to that room, quiet room, where we would gather together. Seven pa lang kami noon. Believe me, we were feeling like, should we still continue or not anymore? Should we still continue or not anymore? Again, the low self-esteem was coming back inside of me. Baby, hindi ako tinawag dito. Bakit? How come we are not increasing in numbers? But you know what? To God be the glory. Later on, God was bringing more and more lost souls to that small Bible study group in my company. To the point that we were already 40, kulang na po yung upuan doon sa maliit na chapel, sa maliit na place na kung saan ipinakaloob ni Mr. Lopez na kung saan pwede kaming manalangin. To God be the glory. Alam niyo po one day, one Friday lunch break, I decided not to attend because my boss told me, please rush that report. I need it. It's urgent. You need to finish that. And I said, oh, no. Here we go again. We will have a Bible study. And then I already made up my mind, I will not attend. But then again, that was the time, that was the season of God training me. Nag-surrender na lang ako sa Lord. Lord, just continue training me here. If this is your will, then let your will be done. Then, then the one fine day when someone approached me, I said, I'm not going to attend today. I'll just explain to the Bible study leader today that I have a rush report to be submitted immediately after lunch. Someone asked me, Ano nga ba tawag sa akin? Ano hindi ate tawag sa akin? Ma'am Sheila yata tawag sa akin kasi mukha yata ako matanda. Anyway, sabi niya, ah, Sheila, sabi niya, meron po someone who is sick wants you to pray for him. I said, oh, I'm really, really sorry. 
I'm so sorry. Pasensya na. Kasi may tinatapos lang ako. Pwede kaya yung iba na lang? Si Sister Liza na lang? So I had to throw the ball to another person. And then suddenly, I was quickened by the Holy Spirit. You go. I really felt the thug, the prompting of the Holy Spirit. You go. And so I went inside. That time, we did not use the other room. We went to the conference room. We went to that big conference room. Lo and behold, the sick guy came in. And then we had our Bible study later on. We, the Lord just moved. The Holy Spirit just moved in that very conference room. I cannot understand what happened that time. But I saw the man who was very sick. He had a malaking bukol. He had a very big mass here. I didn't know that that was already terminal cancer that grew on his uh, left uh, shoulder. Ang laki po talaga ng bukol niya dito. And then he came to me. He came to us and said, and then he started praying. And then he received Jesus. Right that very moment, he received Jesus in his life. Fast forward. Two months after, someone told me, Alam mo po, Sheila, nalala mo yung pinag-pray natin? The one who attended two months back. Ano natin yung engineer siya eh. He is a technician. He is an ECE, I think. He is an engineer. And then you know what? Sabi niya sa akin, that guy already passed away. I was so shocked. I could have missed out. Hindi po ba? I could have missed out. I could have missed out on the command of God to bring that poor soul who needed God, who needed a Savior. Kung ako nagbingi-bingihan, if I disobeyed God, I could have missed out on that person. And I don't know, maybe his own family, because he's already married, maybe his family is also born again Christian now. I don't know, but I just trust that God did something powerful during that day and after that you know what the Lord told me you see you see I did not call you in the office in the in the corporate world just to receive your salary every month I have a mission for you there I have a purpose why I have planted you there and every time God would move me from one company to another, the Lord would always remind me, anywhere I bring you, my daughter, I will always have a purpose. And you will always have to move according to my terms. And to, today, I always look back with so much fondness and wonder at the, 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 the goodness of God, how he can turn around our lives. And then after that, the Lord started training me on how to be more confident, on how to be able to speak to a larger audience. Hindi po talaga ako ganito ni... You can ask my husband, I never stood up in front, not even lead prayers. Hindi po talaga when we were in Philippines. Nasa ministry siya, nandun lang ako sa, sa likod niya, just praying. Ano man ang sabihin ni Lord, you pray for your husband, whatever specific things God wants me to pray for. Yun lang po. But God pala was already training me back then when I was in Philippines. And I believe in my heart that it is very much aligned to the theme today, this afternoon, which is everyone reaching out, touching lives. And it is coming from the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 8, where Jesus told his disciples... But in, in, in verse 8, chapter 1, he said there, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Amen? Amen? Amen. The Lord did not just give a command or an order he promised his power to be upon his disciples his followers and his children the moment that the holy spirit will be implanted in us the moment the holy spirit comes upon us jesus is promising us his power will always be with us with us 
Not the power of your pastor, not the power of the worship leader, but the power of the Almighty God, our Creator, the owner of the universe, our great provider. Amen? So I stand here in front of you because I want to testify to an amazing Father that we worship. Yung pinasalamatan natin kanina at yung ino-honor natin na Panginoon. He is the one who has a great plan for our lives. Even when I was already losing hope with my future, wala akong pangarap kahit katiting. God did or made or prepared a great plan for me and my family. Isn't He a great God? Amen! Sige po, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah! 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 So, every one of us, we were called by God. Everyone. You know what? The Lord impressed this burden in our hearts during the anniversary of Dubai back in November last year. That winning people to Jesus is not just about you know, it's winning people to Jesus. It's not just the work of the evangelist. It's the work of everyone. It's the work of everyone. So I encourage everybody from the pastor, from the pastors to the, the ministry heads, to all the ministry volunteers, to all the members. Thus, the command of God is so clear, very, very clear po sa ating lahat. Ang sinasabi niya dito, Ang sinasabi niya, you will receive power and you will be my witnesses. Tayo ang magpapatotoo. You will be my witnesses telling people everywhere about me, sabi ni Jesus. Yung story ng buhay mo na binago niya. Telling people about me from Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria to the ends of the world, to, to the ends of the earth. And his promise in Matthew chapter uh, 28 verses 19 to 20, anong sabi niya? Ang sabi ng Panginoon doon, ha? Ang sabi ng Panginoon, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them what I, the commands that I have told you, and I will be with you even to the very end of age. God wants to use our lives. God wants to use our stories. What's stopping us from doing that? Is it because of all uh, the fear of rejection? Like me, I had that before. God can remove that fear from you. He can replace that fear with faith. Believe me, how God has used me. It was His faith that He planted in my heart. That I am still here in front of you, testifying to the goodness and to the power of God in my life. Amen? Ano pa? What is hindering us? Is it all excuses na lang? What I heard, Pastor, I remember Pastora Jack during her preaching long time back. Excusitis? Meron ba tayong mga sakit ng excusitis? Palanging my excuse? I cannot attend Bible study because I cannot attend dahil ganyan. Ay, sasamahan ko yung friend ko. Ang daming excuses. You know what? Listen to me, my dear brothers and sisters. Do you know that the, the, the sickness of excusitis will prevent people, will prevent families from being restored? The, 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 the sickness of excusitis, when we keep giving excuses, listen please, listen, listen. The moment we keep on giving excuses, we don't want to follow the command of God to reach out, to touch lives. Lives are being broken. It will prevent people from getting to know God. It will prevent families from walking in their purpose. Are you with me? Are you with me? What else? Ano pa po? It will... What else is stopping us? Is it because we are people pleasers? Mas gusto natin umuo ng umuo sa invitation. Verdict the invitation of a godly office mate who wants 
us to attend and experience the presence of God on one Saturday or Sunday? What's stopping us from reaching out to people, from inviting people? God is a very intentional Father to all of us. Lahat, napaka-intentional po talaga ng Panginoon. Just as He was intentional with me, He has great intentions for your lives too. So if we are afraid of our bosses, we don't want to share Jesus because baka tayo ma-reject, rest assured, God can do extraordinary things to, to ordinary people, especially when we feel like we are nothing because God is able and He is more than able. Pinulot ako ng Panginoon na walang wala akong hindi ko alam ano sasabihin ko. Isang buhay na inayos at binago niya. Pray that one day when we come face to face with Jesus, you know, we will see throngs of people queuing up in heaven, telling us, Ako yung hineran. Ako yung nakarinig ng kwento ng pag-ibig ng Diyos sa akin. Sabi nga ni John Maxwell, Sana nga daw, when we come to Jesus, when we, when we go to heaven, there will be a big traffic jam of people. There will be a big traffic jam of people nagmamadali magpasalamat sa Panginoon dahil sa pagsunod natin sa Kanya. Ang dami nangangailangan kay Lord ngayon. There is so much uncertainty around us. Para kanino ka gumigising mga anak, mga kapatid, sabi nga nung advertisement, Para kanino tayo gumigising every single morning? God wakes us up every morning because He has a purpose. He has a great purpose. He wants to use all of us here to reach out and touch lives. Ang promise ng Panginoon, napakaganda. Do not be afraid. Be courageous. Because I will be with you. God will always be with us. He is our Emmanuel. He will be with us even up to the end of age. So let us heed the command of God today to us. Be a witness. Nobody will rebuke us. Just share the love of Jesus. Be a witness in that place where God has planted us, in that place uh, flat where He has placed us, in the church where He has placed us, in that uh, area or city where he, God has planted us, and wait till God moves powerfully through your life, and the lives and families will be changed for the greater glory of His name. Maraming, maraming salamat po. Let us all reach out and touch lives. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Let's continue to be in the presence of God. And as we reach out and as we touch lives, it's really important to be in the presence of God. Amen. As we sing this song, let's desire and pray to do well in the house of God, to do well in the presence of God forever. Amen. Let's stay connected and remain in God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. You have set us apart, O oh God, for a purpose. Yes, Lord. You set me apart, gave me a new heart, filled with compassion. To share your great love Show me your ways I want to know you Guide me in truth My hope is in you That I may dwell In your house forever Lifting up your name Dwell
Thank you, Father. Thank you, God, for the grace and for the love of God. That, Lord, may we stand, O God, before your throne, O God, with a grateful heart, with a gratitude in our heart, O God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for the love. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah.
Children of God. 